Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Tulu Shakufar and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioengineering and Director of Institute Nanomedicine Laboratory, ISNL at UIC. I have a multidisciplinary background with a Bachelor and Master degree in Material Science and Engineering, PhD in Mechanical Engineering and postdoctoral training in Biomaterials and Electron Microscopy, all of which have given me great experience to lead a cross-cutting nanomedicine research lab. At ISNL, we have two research thrusts. First, in-situ liquid electron microscopy of biomolecules and biomaterials and their biochemical activities in wet hydrated environment for diagnostic of human diseases. I'm Reza Gotzi, PhD student at ISNL, and my research focuses on nanoscale interactions between nanoparticles and fluids. Liquid repellency is a sought-after property of immense importance in areas ranging from energy technologies to non-woven products. However, scientists were not able to observe this nanoscale phenomena until very recently that liquid electron microscopy techniques were developed. Here at UIC, we are equipped with the state-of-the-art liquid holders compatible with our top-of-the-line transmission electron microscope. Using electron microscopy techniques, we look at the interface of polymer nanoparticles in the pressures ranging from 10 to 1,000 atmospheres to resolve the molecular structure of adsorbed solvents on solid interfaces. Second, smart and multifunctional nanobiomaterials that have applications in orthopedics, dental, diabetes, and eyelid transplantation research. My name is Emre Firlar, and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at ISNL. One of my main projects is the investigation of pancreatic eyelid cells to understand the causes of diabetes. We are the first group to show live insulin release from these cells with nanoscale resolution using transmission electron microscopy, which allows imaging at over 1 million X magnification. Biological samples usually involve weak bonding and they're in liquid media. Our graphene liquid cell transmission electron microscopy technique facilitates monitoring dynamic events in these samples when sandwiched between two monolayers of graphene, which are electron transparent and resistant to ion flow. My other project is the investigation of magnetite nanomaterial formation in the magnetactic bacteria. These novel bacteria move according to the geomagnetic field on Earth due to these nanoparticles, and these particles further can be utilized in the industry for their magnetic properties. At ISNL, we understand the need of multidisciplinary and collaborative research team to generate innovative solutions to the critical issues in medicine and bioengineering. Hi, my name is Mohamed Mahdi Tayari. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at ISNL working in the bioengineering department. Our team members come from different departments across the campus, including material science, bioengineering, mechanical engineering, and electrical engineering. We are also working with the College of Dentistry. Our team's goal is the development of novel and innovative materials in 2D and nanostructures to prevent and treat disease, as well as enhancing the current biomaterial used in biomedical applications. The ongoing research projects being done by our team are including 2D materials as an antibacterial agent, cell material interactions, dental implant as a drug delivery device, and cytotoxicity of metal ions. I'm Surya. I'm a second year PhD student in ISNL. I work on ferritins and ion storage protein in our body, which helps to regulate iron and prevents iron toxicity. Ferritin dysregulation is involved in anemia and many neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Our goal here is to compare how the iron core forms in healthy and dysfunctional ferritin using graphene liquid cells. Understanding how ferritin biomineralizes and stores iron, as well as understanding how ferritin demineralizes and releases iron would better explain what causes these disorders. Our research mission is to contribute to the advancement of knowledge by applying nanoscience and nanotechnology to overcome unresolved and critical issues in medicine, dentistry, and bioengineering. If any of these research thrusts interest you and to learn more about what we do, visit our website. More videos coming soon from ISNL.